All right, so I've also decided I'm going to do some exercise, and uh, while I'm doing the exercise, I'm going to finish the video on today's incident, which took place at the parking lot, like a rather desperate way. Um, I actually see this even as a continuation of what I started earlier yesterday because it's already after midnight and I, I continue to go both of these videos however they were all completed yesterday this one was placed online as you see right there on May 11 2024 right now it's really May 12 2024 about half an hour after midnight it is you see somehow I am a midnight man When everything goes sleep, and you get a chance basically to do the work, you don't get paid for it. Actually, your wife, you waste. This is continuation in uh, many ways of what you see right there. The video, which I have dedicated to the neighbor, he's a doctor, physician, Dushan Harlander. Uh, in fact, it's a video in which I mentioned say, May 11, you can see right here, Saturday, May 11, yesterday was a Saturday. See that? Today is Sunday already. This is a video in which I indicated a problem with the nurse that this is just one more nurse, male nurse, Slovenian nurse, whom police have involved in MKUltra with a very specific task. And that's basically waving his hands uh, and getting into a personal space that's basically approximating whenever I would have conversation, pleasure to have a conversation with him, uh, he would try to remind me of MK Ultra. Now, this is the nurse I was talking about inside, uh, inside of this video. And basically, during MK Ultra, this individual, uh, not only engaged in a torture, but, uh, very aggressive, suggested that at one point in time, it won't even matter, all, all sorts of scenarios, so one of which I have described yesterday, he tried to do in front of my mother, intimidate me and stuff like that, uh, just for asking him a question, started to move his hands, throw back and forth according to MP Archer scenario, and you really get into my face without even, you know, try to intimidate me, you know, basically dare me. Something I have never done, but because it was involved in MK Ultra with my mother, uh, for which she claimed, I wouldn't dare to do anything in front of her when he was present. Um, by the way, this is not about doing anything to anybody, but not backing down from intimidation, from bullying. Because these people love to get an idea that it seems to me like they have to, you know, like trying to display the certainty in front of my mom or something like that. It is especially important. And it gave like a great importance to display a great deal of self-confidence in front of my mother. Maybe my mom is losing faith in this shit. So that's how they try to probably assert, uh, <laughs> you know, give her a hope or something like that, that it's worth, it's not so grim, you know, that I am just whatever I was, whatever they have seen during MK Ultra. But it really is not the case. 
And so I did not respond to this nurse, to this individual, at any time at all. Even that he tried his tricks. Uh, he tried also to see how I'm going to react. Uh, and I just never reacted to anything. But when my mom was there, uh, you know, I let him know that I'm not really intimidated or hear my anything like this in a completely manner that he understood what time it is. Nothing aggressive, nothing like that, but just psychologically did something to him at a certain time, at a certain moment that was so crucial to him, obviously, that he got the message. So once I mentioned this issue inside of the video about the neighbor, doctor, <laughs> uh, physician, Dushan Harlander, there is another doctor that popped up on the door. Uh, there you go. That's the individual I already have dedicated quite a few videos. In fact, this is a husband from my niece, from Urska Golob Weber. That's a media Weber. He also had doctorates. He's also, he also had a doctoral degrees, I think two or something like that. I'm not sure, but he is um, more related to robotics, uh, electric, electricity, something like that. Yeah. Um, so he wanted to cast his uh, bait in it to see what he could uh, you know, continue to develop this story from Dushan Harland or any further or something like that. Uh, this guy is just as I have written, you're going to read about this stuff here. He was involved in crime against me since 2000. Since he got in a relationship with Nice, and I think it was earlier actually, you know. Um, so, he tried his luck, and I think I display, explained a lot of issues I have not even uh, explained in a Slovenian language, in a video with a Slovenian language. A really beautiful two hour video, so I know this is going to be a long one too. Uh, in a video which I already have created, but I've also decided I will improve one, that I will do a little bit better, that we can do better, we can do, we can do a little improvements. I did make few mistakes when I was making Slovenian uh, video because I didn't even bother actually to go over the audio itself. You see, it's a, something I'm certain of uh, is going out without a doubt. Uh, but at the moment, there was a little technical mistake that I have made, which I described already in the Slovenian in the language I have written about. And the mistake was that, uh, as I explained in continuation, uh, I didn't give him a verbal acknowledgement that I already had taken photos. Uh, and basically, he is good to go. And when I think over, just as I have explained here above, he became clear that this stuff eventually even helped me out a lot. And I'm not going to say about understanding this individual, this Mitya Weber, husband from my niece, Urshka Weber, uh, but it definitely, definitely helped me out in obtaining more proofs against this criminal, uh, more solid, firm proofs, uh, so that Psychiatric hospitalization attempt, because this is what this was, yes, uh, could give its meaning in a sense of what he tried to still desperately accomplish with the police on May 11, 2044. Now, let's go with this continuation, as I earlier suggested, 
of video that pertains rather unlikely to a neighbor, Dushan Harlander, I did about him. And, you know, they did so many funny things that uh, I just really have to mention also this nurse about, you know, the, the way they try to intimidate, they try to intimidate. And so, this is what this video is about, this neighbor here. This is a criminal, by the way, who was, he exercised Mount Everest of torture at his uh, workplace. He refers to himself here, actually media refers to him as a director, you know. Uh, Dushan Harlander, director, ZZV. you see, at his workplace, there was a Mount Everest of torture. Um, not a good stuff, even before he became a director, you know. Um, this is a physician, this is a doctor. It's really, what can I say? It's not okay. A neighbor, it's really not okay. Um, he's educated, he's well situated. Um, he always had brown hair. He claimed he had brown hair, that's true, but his wife, I think, had a blonde hair. And nobody knows who his wife is, I think, because she never comes out or whatever the issue might be. She's not very seen around here or something like that. At least I personally have never seen her in real time. So, uh, but his haircut was always very, very short hair. He was always, it was very short hair. Almost it looked like he's without hair, really short hair. Um, and in the face, he is uh, red face during the summertime. Um, tall guy, enough about it. Let's go and let's do the video which I already have created. Uh, about 60 minute long video so that you understand basically what happened. It was an attempt to escalate, uh, attempted theft of uh, car battery or car accumulator. Uh, it was just used to escalate it through the physical confrontation, which they hoped they would develop through this incident into what would be psychiatric hospitalization. It did have as a result my stopping at the local police station later today. This is another uh, audio video I'm going to post on. Um, I took all the steps I possibly could to get this perpetrator behind bars. Unfortunately, the police officer who met me, um, investigator, not the police officer who called investigator, but the investigator who was involved also in this, probably since, I don't know, I think about like 1998, um, he did not know what MK Ultra is. I mean, I've seen him so many times inside of our home, inside of our house, uh, but this guy would not know what the fuck MK Ultra is, and so I've seen no point in it. Uh, explaining an uh, individual who participated, yet another investigator. Um, because today, you see, today is the Saturday, and they wanted me to mention this to you. On Saturday, so we all these people that they selected and so on, uh, people who participated with the scenarios, all kinds of stuff like that. I don't know. Honestly, for me, what day of the week it is, it doesn't matter. Even less who the person is. Our conversation fell short today when he told me that he doesn't know what MK Ultra is. And I requested another uh, police investigator, whomever, so that he could 
dedicate himself to investigation. It was a nun. It was a Saturday. And this is the point about the Saturdays. I'm sure you get it. Uh, if anything, it's not even about how many crimes, how busy they are during Saturdays, actually weekends or the weekends or during the weekdays. Um, this is something that doesn't even pertain to the calls I have made to the police at 113 number. Um, but it actually pertains overall more than anything. It pertains to the procedure itself, the way they run this thing. So there's nothing you can do. You know? So they, they, they give you a blow, they cause you issues, and when you try to make the next step and move forward, there's always somebody that's missing. It's always the fucking next day. And by the time that the next day comes, you already have more problems there on and down the road. And that's how they keep time ticking, basically. Moving to nowhere. Let's go. We're going to see basically exactly what happened today. Uh, <clears throat> this is the accumulator. I was going to record this stuff, but they jammed my camera. They have ability to jam the camera. So the camera simply will not turn on itself. Uh, he was going to take this accumulator also at the Dinos at the junkyard. I don't know what the problem is with his uh, batteries, where the problem is with it. But these are the batteries I'm not supposed to touch when I need it to fix my car. Uh, and these are physical proofs. We are talking about the Citroën. You know, this battery belongs to my car, Citroën, which I have taken out of the car. Um, and we hope that I would somehow get one charged uh, and so on. And it would have survived me and this and that. I have so many problems with it. I explain in continuation. Uh, for they wanted to remove at all the costs, talking about the... They, however, Denise's husband came to pick up the... Uh, actually, he attempted to steal also my battery, my car battery. There were three batteries altogether. You're going to see all that stuff. Uh, three batteries, and of these three batteries, accumulators, one was mine, from my Citroën, which I purchased. I deemed that those batteries, because I did not even know what exactly they were referring to, and they were in such a hurry, without absolutely informing me about anything, talking about my mom, and talking about Denise's husband here, um, that I did not even fucking know what battery. Uh, it was just a few minutes, and uh, it was the end of it. Uh, actually, his visit lasted no more than, for me to say, um, Let's go here. His visit, my God, this, his visit lasted like this here, basically, something like this. This is like three, four minutes. It was uh, four minutes, something uh, they were quite interesting. Three minutes, whatever. Uh, but uh, it, it, it goes to show, basically, how intensive this crime was, how they tried to create the incident out of it. It was well calculated, it was well manipulated, uh, but it did not go through. Uh, it was well done, it almost could. I explain all this in continuation with literally what they anticipated would be a police whom I would meet at the police station uh, and or 
There was no end or nobody arrived here. The phone didn't answer one twice they called. Um, with car parked right in front of the police station. I'm not gonna say exactly the same car that was used to do it. Uh, rehearsals of what the police suggested me that if I would file the police charges against him it would be according to MK Ultra the police went on to rehearse this incident at his home where they would take me to file the report uh, and simply arrest me and take me to the psychiatric hospital they rehearsed this probably in about 10 occasions I'm probably not exaggerating with this stuff. So that's not a police, that's something else we're talking about. And it was exactly police officer who did that kind of stuff in front of the police station. And he had another police officer, he was all alone. He had another police officer. He might have been more than one police officer, actually a couple, because they always work in group of two. Um, that have rehearsed this type of crime with me in front of his house because he wouldn't wait here uh, and they wouldn't answer the phone. And actually he already left by the time I called the police. This guy already was gone. He was off the gate. He was gone. He left already. And so now let's see how this stuff developed. But they tried to use this to hospitalize me. And I'm going to explain to you what they hoped for, what they tried, how far this stuff had gone. Uh, a little bit through the attempted theft. Definitely attempted theft. I didn't say theft, but attempted, definitely attempted theft. More than anything, a provocation attempt, as I stated, to get me into the physical confrontation which did not stop short from individual actually placing his hands, both hands on my arm, uh, on the left arm, left hand, and right hand on the right arm. Uh, I didn't like that idea about, uh, so I smashed his hands off my shoulders because uh, he even suggested, did so, so that he could keep the distance from me. I didn't like the, that kind of idea about the distance. I didn't touch him, uh, and I don't feel I got into his uh, personal space enough so that he could use that type of uh, method. I don't know, kung fu or karate, whatever he was contemplating. I don't know what was his uh, plan to do it. Uh, he did definitely not use one hand with a palm stretch or something like that uh, to keep the distance from me or something or just, you know. And so I, I don't like that, simple. Uh, and it came evident that he didn't mind so much about the time. Uh, he claimed that he was in such a hurry. I mean, he acted he was in such a hurry and even gave the meaning of its hurry at the end, he called me names and so on and before he rushed away that he doesn't have a time uh, with the people like myself but before that he took time in awfully crazy way too so let's go on with this video for you to see what happened police who wanted to meet me at uh, his location his Kalitsky location and so on uh, there are police officers right now heading at a police station to do the police report about this. The officers who was involved in MK Ultra already took inside. He was right here at the police station when I came. This is the type of car they have used during a uh, personal vehicle. It was like this type of vehicle they used during investigation at Smrechnikova 7, where Mitya Weber headed after refusing to wait for the police. A 
As far as the police, police refused to answer the telephone. Uh, I made two phone calls, uh, a bone number, I don't know what that is, I dialed the wrong keypad. But uh, twice, at least, I called the police, they would not answer the telephone. Just so you know, I got the wrong idea, because this is already at the police, where I went later that day. Uh, I will play you this issue here. This is just to video record the calls I had made to the police. Maybe this is very, very important because I missed on doing that. Stuff. These are the two calls that I had made to the number 113. Right now, that's actually uh, the police station. And you don't want to give any kind of false impression about these issues, you know. Uh, so these are two numbers here. And as you see, I'm going to take this light off just like this then we're gonna do by the way the stuff i do just as i have a great explain on slovenian side uh under slovenian video which i mean in slovenian language is exactly the stuff police investigators have discussed with me during mk ultra beginning exactly year 2011 to be exact uh, and things then turned really, really bad because they threw me into a psychiatric hospital. Uh, but they follow up with this crime, with a telephone crime, related to the phone calls in emergency. At first, which I suggested me there will be one call that is not going to go even through, that's going to indicate a zero seconds duration, and the second one only five seconds duration. It's going to be both of them are going to fall short. Uh, was then upgraded exactly to what you are see as next during MK two, just like that. And hopefully we can actually raise the date. See it. Came. And even time, 10.36 was, was in the morning. It showed me the time, everything okay, 10.36. Yeah. There you go, time of the incident, time 30, 10.33, 10.30. That's, that's what we want. And we go back, and we're going to go to the upper number. Uh, five seconds was the duration of the call. Podrobno, Stevilka. And then we see also we also see the date, time. It was 10:37. So it works for me. It definitely works for me. This was five seconds. Just clear to be for five seconds. Five seconds was time of the call. It lasted five seconds. This was a phone call. This was a phone call. This does classify as a call, phone call. And let's see how long the first one. I don't know if I did use the, the other one, which is this one here. That you can give me, and this one here was 15 seconds. First one was the 15 seconds long. I did make a phone call, so I think this is the video that I did not properly clarify. And I do want to make sure that you see that. So, you see, this is what I just recorded right now before it goes to waste. This one is fucked up a bit. It's some, some nine and three star. She is so optimistic, isn't she? Andreas, I have no idea. Number. Uh, but look what my mother prepared me. She is so optimistic, isn't she? And it doesn't look anything good for her. I never wear pants like this. Uh, it was one of the issues that was involved in it, that I'm going to psychiatric hospital where you see this and so on. There are some magazines that they suggest health. Hospital. In the background, it says health and so on. Oh, yeah. I see this, actually. Yeah. They're really my size. Rather my size. Look at that. The thing is that we don't have the time for that size. And they know it. They got a good taste of it today again. Or believe it or not, even bothered to call back. They did not call back. 
Uh, there were lights, uh, cars with the lights, with long lights that would be coming my way. And I had to drive behind the individual with the Ljubljana registration. Right, exactly, according to the MKH scenario, with a window, uh, window that was closed window, that was like a metal window. Uh, actually, he didn't have windows in the rear. Uh, with Ljubljana license tag and so on. This is also the room where they tortured me. Something like a Renault Kangoo or Peugeot Partner, something like that, that kind of vehicle um, with the Ljubljana registration license. The room where I would be brought, and it's not only this kind of placard that they had, they had also different kind of placards where they would brainwash me uh, and always would have me wait a few minutes, waste basically, to watch the stuff they displayed. And which they have reminded me of the Renan Ultra over and over again. Oh, this one directly to the lady to the psychiatric hospital, thinking of returning home. Yes, it was not very pleasant to be locked in the psychiatric hospital, but as these people are so. Um, evil and addicted to the evil and they really enjoyed causing harm physical and psychological harm um they figure out would be the best to put stuff like this right in the room where i would go and had me sit and remind me of their promises during mk ultra also with the teachers like this this is inside of the police station, I hope you understand. A room which investigators frequently would use for torture purposes, but not the only room where they exercise torture purposes. Uh, it's actually, as I actually at the end of this video, uh, even the room where the director is, uh, area where they have this director, where they have these offices, where they insisted me, suggested me, in front of the director. This is what went on at this police station, that, that I should throw Han across the window, straight out on the street. You know, this is the type of people we are talking about. It wasn't only this room. They had stuff going on throughout the entire police station. Uh, you can see. They're in MK Ultra. Whatever he says in English here, individual whom I have met right now is a police investigator who was also involved in MK Ultra. Just as I have mentioned, yes. And you can imagine in nothing really good. This uh, journey, Soprao, an individual who was on duty for the day, was, uh, how can I say, he was uh, Mr. Rose Manisi. Um, he seemed to me to be polite, but I think that this is a fine, like, because they have all kinds of scenarios involved in it. Um, he was giving me a subtle sign, like turning me my back when a police officer would come to greet me and so on. Uh, and he sympathized with me. The director got on his toes. And then he basically had to do bad stuff like others. Uh, he basically they forced people that they wouldn't do this stuff, conditioned them not only with a performance, not only with a promotions, but a little bit with the jobs. So you get to keep the job if you do this stuff like this to this guy. If you do not, goodbye. Well, next one, I'll take your place. This investigator, in my opinion, also was completely unsuitable, and I would even say funny. Because so as much as I, I communicated properly with the first police officer who will act like a receptionist, sort of. Um, but I wouldn't say uh, a receptionist. Let's just say dispatcher of some sort. Yeah. Um, he, he was okay. I, he understood what I was talking about. 
Uh, at least that's what it appeared to me. But when it came to investigator, like I said, this guy was involved since 98. He had a really problem understanding it. Uh, actually, he did not even know what MKO3 is. And so it didn't make any sense for me to proceed with this. I'm going to skip this portion here. Let me see that. No, no, from my, I don't know uh, whether I would they read this, but I will state to you. To throw the police director uh, out of the window on the street. Yeah, we discussed that the issue already. Window. Right, so they did not know what MK Ultra is. It was created literally to develop into the physical context. Together with the meet, the incident which took place here is directly connected to the... ...about how my father attempted to cause me physical injury for life at the home for elderly people. This is also something I mentioned today at the police station, then. Since they did not know what MK Ultra is, I left. The incident which took place here is directly connected to the neighbor that you see right there, Donna Collins. Uh, he was the one who claimed, together with the media Weber, with the neighbors, they will record the whole incident. And it was charged, it was created literally to develop into the physical confrontation. Uh, I can say that media Weber today was looking forward right here at this place here to create a physical confrontation. The very same thing for me to do with my accident, and it was charged, it was created here, it is directly connected to the... You see this house right there? This is what this neighbor is, Donna Collins, who was especially in good relations with the police director, Yannis Ogoli, individual who tortured me inside of his basement, right in front of our house. Now, that was really hilarious stuff that went on. Uh, and love to see himself. Literally, uh, he demanded from me to see in one a police director or bullying. I'm playing during that character with his cars and doing all kinds of gimmicks to uh, with attempt to what he believed would uh, terrorize uh, so that I would not dare to proceed with the case. This is basically how they kill most of the people. But I think I explained this issue very well. Um, I facially, with my body, have faced his house right there. Uh, Amitya Weber, uh, who had car parked right there, have faced this house with his back. So there would be no way that his emotions on his face would be video recorded or something like that, but definitely everything about me, they did get on the camera. They just didn't get it right. I mean, it wasn't what they anticipated. Neighbor that you see right there, Donna Collins, uh, he was the one who claimed together with the... This is actually not because I would have, uh, be, wouldn't it be a paranoid or something like that. This is something I was promised to during MK Ultra, the case is going to be that we're making fun out of it. With Mitya Weber, who claimed that he will also have a camera positioned uh, in the back of... Uh, uh, he will also have a camera positioned in the back of the... Uh, in, my, on, on, in the back somewhere. So that camera would also face him. So that he would also get his, there would be also his perspective uh, on how he looked in what uh, he pursued as uh, during MK Ultra, like some kind of action. He wanted to see this like an action. Uh, well, you know, this action could be very dangerous for me because he wrestled me, drugged up during MK Ultra on three occasions uh, on that grass right behind uh, and it's actually even worse this case goes definitely into the year 1998 
possibly even 1997. And Milan Kuchan stopped here. And I promised Milan Kuchan on this parking lot that I would squash him, destroy him. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do with him if I ever see him here again. So he would take me inside of the father's garage. And inside of the father's garage, so that he would be, he was always very cautious, very, very aware of the cameras, of the people watching. That's what he gave me a promise. And this is the parking lot where he will destroy me. You know, so 25 years, more, 26 years passed, 27 years almost. And today is when Milan Kuchan got face of the reality for the young man, psychiatrist Peter Kopsch, whom I have promised exactly the same thing in 2000. This is all what American government produced with traffic, trafficking me from Miami to Slovenia. This is what my stay was in America about. So then I would meet with this kind of uncles and it would be really a bloodbath that went on uh, with the so-called enemies of the United States of America somehow that's how American government addressed them. As. He always had an upper hand and presented me, everybody that was involved in MKH, to everyone as a nail, literally as a nail, and they presented themselves to me as a hammer, basically. So let's just continue with this issue. So this is a long issue, and in 2000, psychiatrist Peter Kopsch successfully hired Mitya Weber, uh, a future husband from my niece, Ushka Golob Weber, uh, as the one, and that special man who will take a vendetta, retaliation, for the sake of Milan Kuchan. Well, Mitya Weber had to sign a teacher at the high school university that is located here in the city of the Novo Mesto, such as a Novo Mesto. Um, crazy, no? I mean, he had two children and so on. Uh, and he had to sign the contract with the police, literally. Something they even cried me about that he doesn't want and so on. Even like this, even this is the stuff that was. Uh, but today, he was really vicious about it. He doesn't demonstrate any, any, any. I have actually, uh, he called, he referred to this as IQ, a simple IQ versus uh, Piflar. Piflar in Slovenian language that means somebody who sits at the desks and reads the book over and over and over until he memorizes everything in it. And that's uh, precisely how he pre prepared himself for this case. And it really, really worked for him. Just as you're going to read the text, I'm going to post below this video, actually above this video, till a certain, till a certain point. Uh, and not even that worked, because anything he tried, it really didn't work. I was really official, efficient in the sense of being official. I was just simply, uh, I cut through the feelings, I don't want to have nothing to do with it, because it was uh, very bad stuff that went on. And I immediately distanced myself from Juan. I wrote enough stuff that he should be ashamed of on my blog. And just wanted really to know what's going on. And then I went straight to the issue without even obstructing him from, uh, I should say, physically obstructing him from taking these uh, batteries, accumulators with him. So here you can see some pictures of him taking them inside of the car uh, after he took them to the parking lot. I'm demonstrating you right now from the garage. You know? See, that's that.
city of Weber with the neighbors, they will record the whole incident. Oh, and it they was did. They charged, did. it was created literally to develop into the physical confrontation. They did. They uh, did. I can say that Mitya Weber today was looking forward right here at this place here to create a physical. Uh, even more so, the one that looked forward to this was Milan Kuchan, who promised to destroy me 27 years ago. Uh, he was, and he would, I mean, if he would develop according to his scenario, uh, and they would manage to be recording this stuff. The only thing they do is they make you disappear into the psychiatric hospital again. Because this is basically the way they work. Uh, they labeled me as a paranoid schizophrenic in 2012 based on lies and on credit, basically. That means they didn't have any kind of proof. They denied me, totally denied me the right to the court, the right to the opinion from the psychiatrist, zero rights and have used my defense lawyers which they selected for me to accuse me even of additional crimes such as those that defense lawyers such as those that had nothing to do with the reports uh, of people who filed uh, crime charges against me that's my parents my family basically uh, and the people whom my family had managed to get it so they could witness against me. Physical confrontation. Um, description of the incident, all right. Description of the incident. First of all, the telephone I am recording with was jammed and the, the camera under no circumstances would turn itself on which is interesting because this morning the camera worked actually. I went ahead, I deleted it. Maybe, maybe uh, the issue, maybe which I the best uh, explained, it wasn't only this, it was much more complicated, the whole thing. Uh, the best that's explained in this video here, which is, however, in Slovenian language, because I didn't put time eventually step out and do this. So that basically you see me recording the whole thing outside with a, using two telephones. Two telephones because so that I could indicate the problems of these telephones that each had. Yeah. One telephone had a problem. You see, you see this blinking? You see this kind of stuff? This is not because it would be you're going to see some cracks in the telephone. Uh, it was like this almost since the telephone was new. Uh, I don't know. Um, I, I have no comment, but this blinking is not normal. Uh, and the second thing is, it probably have to do with the, you know, with the, probably has to do with the, uh, it's going to be, it's going to work. That I have not seen yet. That kind of sucks, but okay. All right, that's fine. And the second issue that I experienced uh, was the phone that I demonstrated you right there. You cannot see anything on this damn phone. Look how dirty it is. Oh, uh, it's dirty like this because they covered that phone with something. And I really don't know what, but it makes when it's the sunny outside, it makes the thing impossible actually to see the, just as it was today, it makes the thing impossible actually to, uh, it makes things difficult to even change the brightness. And the problem it was, the biggest problem was that my telephone was jammed. But still, this is the best telephone I use for video recording. This one, this is all the phone. Uh, it does have a little better graphic processor in it. And so that's a beneficial thing. And uh, other than that, they destroyed me everything, including my underwear, everything. Uh, I would love to say that this is the only issue, but I didn't even bother to replace one because of what I stated. Because they go and destroy absolutely everything. You leave this for a second to 
And the only thing that happens is shit, basically. Uh, you purchase new paper, new filter from China, and one arrives yeah, covered in the dust. So when you uh, throw one on your camera, um, it's already uh, this protective film underneath is already filthy and nasty. And or in case of this telephone here, uh, something was popped on the top of it. Uh, it is it feels like as if it was something that ate the plastic even, the surface. Some kind of liquid that somebody fucked me with. So that I would have really difficulty seeing uh, in the daytime, especially in the sunny time. Still, it doesn't pay off to pay and replace the shit when you know sooner or not you're going to face the same destiny. Uh, and so, you know, anything you leave behind is just bound. And that's it. And anything that arrives through the mail is just bow before it gets in your hands. I wouldn't, I, I prefer it this way so it reminds me of the stuff I do and what this case is all about and keeps me going. I wouldn't bother changing this phone. Fuck that. I'm trying to demonstrate in all the circumstances which police have used to develop this case. The real problem was for me today when I looked how to turn the timestamp camera on and video record this attempted theft of the batteries, accumulators, and I just couldn't do that. No matter what the fuck I would do, this timestamp program that you see right there, indicating time, date, uh, all that stuff, simply it would not power the camera. And this is something already happened before. In fact, every time whenever the incident involved the police, when they suggested me that um, I would not be capable to video record a certain incident, it was the shit like this happened. And today, this stuff actually kind of deprived me of the sanity. I don't know how this stuff is done. Uh, whether there is like something else that's being used that is integrated in this phone, uh, or is it just that what I also managed to video record uh, to the certain degree only, you know, because when I disconnected repeatedly Bluetooth and it appeared it disconnected itself and I just checked on it, you know, just pulled the screen down to see if it really is disconnected and it indicated in fact it was connected, it was turned on. This kind of issue is fucking around with the computer through the open Wi-Fi, uh, damage it caused to the cables, to the router. Uh, very expensive stuff. Makes me actually believe that there is something they are using to jam this telephone to do something. And so my first concern, since this was about the theft of the batteries and stuff that involved, uh, that the fucking telephone turned on so that I could record this incident. I'm not sure whether I did reset the phone or I did not reset the phone. Um, doesn't really matter. There was no time to do the stuff like this. Uh, the problem with this stuff was big. Uh, the problem with this stuff was such that I had to turn uh, on a camera, uh, which is alternative to the camera that I did, uh, software, right? Alternative to the software that I demonstrated you, and it's not timestamped. It's just a camera that you can take photos or even videos with. Uh, but the problem was that sun glare, you know, that I experienced. Uh, and I was so nervous because of this shit. You're gonna see, this stuff was nasty. That I didn't know what the fuck to do with this stuff, you know? Uh, I was really miserable, I was angry, because of quite a few issues, such as even individual media member promised me that I am not going to succeed with absolutely anything. It's supposed to be like an ultimate nail on my casket today, really. And he played the main role in this, uh, in this you know, nail issue. 
um, he wanted to be the one, as he claimed, to be, prove me that I am never going to accomplish anything. And even the car, which I would purchase, that would come with a battery, new battery, um, close to new battery, not new, but close to new battery, uh, even that battery, I'm not capable that I'm stupid, that I am retarded, mentally retarded. And he will prove this just by coming in the spring, sometimes in the spring, one of the days, to simply dump away uh, accumulators, batteries, just like this, basically, of which uh, one will also be mine. And so it won't matter because I wouldn't even be capable to keep battery functional. Uh, and that was his day. He exercised Mount Everest of abuse, torture, bullshit, to get his point across, uh, to be as convincing into physical confrontation as possible. And he really hoped for, you know, next to the violence he did, that this will be his lucky ticket today. And I'm gonna make sure it's gonna be a ticket. Uh, the only thing I did was I used uh, the only thing I did was I used uh, photos and I made three photos of the whatever he took to the car just as you have seen that's all I did um I didn't bother looking for uh, a camera at all on the sun. This was really disgraceful stuff. Uh, he was in a, such a hurry. But you have to hear the whole thing, how it all developed. Uh, so. This is going to be so this is the one we're gonna continue with. I don't have anything else I would add to this stuff. You have seen how the telephones look. You understand the problem which was behind the telephones. Uh, and this is the important issue for me to discuss. Recording, unfortunately. Uh, and even recorded some. Uh, that stuff is actually on audio recorder. So uh, it's a proof. I did go inside of the mother's room and started to record uh, hu humidifier. Uh, I wanted to take a little extra time uh, to get myself. Actually, this, this is quite important. This is quite important stuff. Well, interesting. This video I am gonna what's do. interesting to mention? Uh, what's interesting to mention about this telephone that is glaring, the one with a good graphic processor. This all telephones are good, but we consider that some 30 SD cards were stolen. Uh, and supplemented literally uh, whatever with damaged worn out cards uh, open packaging if you remember that the police promised it in mk ultra uh, you know we see the flash in that thing on a camera that stuff was promised is going to be the case during mk ultra and i really know nothing compared to these people about how you know uh, they had people technicians stores, all kinds of people that work with them, uh, that also know the issues this products experience, and either modify these products into trash. Uh, which they did, even computer, which I took to the police station. Uh, too much shit to talk about this police here in Novo Mesto. I just want to continue. The thing is that this morning the camera worked fine because I did go to the mother's room to see the humidifier, actually the humidity reader, and compare one, the two readers, to see what exactly is the, um, how the two differ, you know, from uh, one another.
you know. The camera worked fine, boy. The camera, everything fine. Till I came, you know. And um, all right, so one more time that I see this baby here. Zero three forty six. Oh, this would look like this. Uh, it's kind of important for me that you understand that it worked. The camera worked. It was fine. It worked. It was functional this morning. Shit, I don't know if I'm going to find that recording. I might not actually find one. Yeah, that's a trouble. So it's not gonna work out for me this. You know. It should be like 10, 16 uh, when I went to the mother's room and I uh, video recorded the uh, humidifier. And I just don't see that video absolutely anywhere. Ten sixteen. It did go wherever it went. Um Actually, that wasn't even not the type of the video, so even that stuff is not correct because it was done with the same camera, not supposed to. No, I deleted one from the telephone. I did not even transfer one to the laptop. I did not delete one to here. Sorry about that. Uh, the telephone worked fine. The telephone worked fine until the situation developed. Then a timestamp camera, I could not get one on no matter what, and the glaring from the sun was making me a real problem. Uh, imagine the other two telephones I had used, I had used them as audio recorders. So I didn't want to use the camera on those. Uh, they're not really any good also to video recording. So when I wanted to have absolutely audio recording, so the two recorders I used, the two telephones I used, I used them as a recorders. You know, one to record, one as a backup, and one telephone basically to video record with. So that was it. Uh, a trouble, and I avoided the trouble, but if it could be a trouble, it would be a trouble. Uh, I just avoided it. And even recorded some. Uh, that stuff is actually on audio recorder, so uh, it's a proof. I did go inside of the mother's room and started to record. Uh, humidifier, no, I wanted to take a little extra time uh, to get myself together and then go about uh, this issue. Because of the video which I posted yesterday late in night, I wasn't sure what to do with it. Finally, I posted one. Um, today, however, uh, after repeatedly asking to leave this car batteries here, uh, and what it looked with the certainty that these batteries, uh, to meet Weber, that these batteries are just like I'm nobody, basically, totally disregarding me. Like, the first of all, nobody even mentioned anything about these batteries. But this whole incident... Nothing. Nobody mentioned about the pick of the batteries. Absolutely nothing. Um... And was a bullying, a harassment, because it dates into 2012 when Mitya Weber and Police Department... 2000... Um, bad stuff happened when it comes to the wrestling. Uh, it's some really bad stuff, but the whole thing with the Mitya Weber uh, that really traces all the way to 2002, uh, 2000. Psychiatrist Couch and Media Way, but that's 2000 actually. Yes, this was the man, as Psychiatrist Couch claimed, he found for me. Uh, the year rather was 2000 when Media Weber was introduced exactly to this crime. 
And I think this was also the time when he started to date my niece. Listen, folks, let's go to the audio recording and let's get down to the business and I can insert some additional details to this stuff. And let's see what happened here. Oh, this was more than two minutes. Yeah. So I come downstairs, and as I come downstairs, uh, he greets me. He says, Pozdravljam, uh, Bošljan. Uh, regards to you, Bushyan. I just want to know because I saw through the balcony he's actually having my battery, my car accumulator battery. What is he up to, basically? This is from my car, Citroën. As you know, I purchased uh, there were two other batteries he had there, and I want to go. I just want to cut through this bullshit and know what's going on here. Kapa, ja to ulo, okay. So uh, I ask, what is this here? You know, because I see this right there in front of me. They're laid down. You know, so I ask, what is this? You know? He says, accumulatori. And because I know one was mine. So I see. You know, so I said, whose accumulators, whose batteries are these batteries? Well, I never make any assumptions, you know. So I ask him, whose batteries are these batteries? Who do they belong to? Sorry. Uh, I don't know. So I ask him, uh, he says, accumulators, batteries. I said to him, just let me make sure about this. Yeah, yeah, it's all okay. All right. I asked whose accumulators are. Prepared for it, okay. He doesn't answer. I ask him, is there like one here that we watch that is yours? Uh, no, my mother told me that they were And he says to me, uh, Mama stated that he wants me to transport them to the dinos. Dinos means to the junkyard. Wow, so we have three batteries that are ready to go to the junkyard. Uh, one of which was mine, nobody asked me, nobody announced himself that they would come to pick up, do the pickup, they would come and collect these batteries. Uh, interesting. I tell him, you know, mom doesn't actually have anything to say in respect to uh, car batteries, accumulators. Uh, some of which, possibly, even my father have used for the boat, uh, because he would use like electric, like a little electric engine, uh, rather than to paddle. Uh, and so, my seeing that stuff, there's a whole lot of memories that went through, uh, a whole lot of statements that my mother had made. My mother guaranteed me that these batteries are already dead since I don't know when, uh, I don't know how long, but all these batteries, she didn't want to see any kind of batteries. She, in fact, did not want to see my father on the boat. She claimed there was a neighbor across the Karka River, uh, the family friend, who almost uh, ended up drowning in the Karka River when he went by himself. And that is what's going to happen to the father, which I'm not disputing. I'm not disputing that possibility like this existed. That's why I purchased him, actually, even a life jacket so that he could wear one because he loved to go to the river. 
And I was begging, I said, Father, please, I at least take the life jacket, wear one, and so on. And uh, he did not bother with that either. Um, he did believe that uh, I am going to, uh, rather than to do my work, spend time uh, driving him around uh, on the Kirka River where he would be practicing fishing uh, without a life jacket and under his terms. Actually, uh, it was not a good stuff because I had a spine injury. I came from Poland and I needed to recuperate my spine injury. And just as the cases with visitations to the home for elderly people, I was trying to take him out for fishing on a boat also. Uh, I took him out for fishing from the land. But for the boat, I had to take a battery, you know, for the boat. I couldn't paddle with a such an injury a boat so that he could fish. And this was the stuff that psychiatrist caption police used to intimidate me with during MK Ultra uh, to make fun of me for trying to help him. Right, everything I would try to do, uh, try to make him eat right. Anything I would try to do, they always put me like in a role of somebody that is just um, needs to be fucked basically till he understands that. Uh, you know, father doesn't want help and he's doing this stuff deliberately, basically, in that sense. You know, whatever they have done to him. But the thing is, he played his role really, really efficiently till the April of the 24, 2023, when he, and I have to still put the video, it's going to be the next one I'm going to put it on, on the internet, attempted to break me a spine accordingly with the MK Ultra instructions. And it was really bad when I came back that day. By the way, it was also the day when I visited police. Uh, and immediately, any kind of step you do like this, is the police that follows up with really bad stuff. And somehow, it's my father that always finds himself playing that role of uh, the type of villain he wanted to be during MK Ultra. Um, so, there is nothing he is, it's the mother who stated that he must pick up this and take this to uh, the drunk yard. Nobody consolidated me, nobody asked me about, uh, nobody announced himself about anything. And one of these accumulators, one of these batteries, also is mine. Uh, how much of this stuff matters when it comes to other batteries, other accumulators? A whole lot. A whole lot because uh, my mother was the one, after I took my accumulator from my car, Citroën, and placed one inside of the father's car, uh, she either got somebody and took this battery out of the car, uh, or she did it by herself. That's interesting because she claims that she doesn't know which one is mine and that it was mine. All kinds of stuff. Um, and not to mention other accumulators, other batteries for which she claimed that they were dead already in 2000, beginning like 2015. Uh, that, that, you know. I have the statements she have made in respect to that, because it's also interesting, it's also important to note, and I don't know which accumulators these are, since they did absolutely everything possible to uh, block me from keeping this battery alive. If I wanted to keep this battery alive, uh, I don't have to take this accumulator somewhere where they would charge one. Yeah, I don't even know if anybody does that shit. Uh, actually, you rather purchase the charger for it. And I didn't know this shit is going to take so long. Then uh, there was no way, like I discussed in the video in Slovenian language, for me to keep this battery alive to the degree that would actually pay me off. Um, police eventually anticipated that I would even end up cutting the cables accordingly with instructions from MK Ultra. 
on how to um, create the charger, like a USB charger. Well, you have a, people posting videos about that stuff on a YouTube. Uh, of course it is possible. Would I go and do this kind of stuff? No, not really. Um, I have a serious problem with that. It takes a long time to charge this uh, size of the battery. And uh, there's a whole lot of issues, including the fire uh, safety standards that are involved in it uh, from the point of view and from the charger and from the cable and from the battery itself. I wouldn't fuck with that stuff. I don't have enough time to play with it. When I do something, I always do 100%. When it's something risky, I study things very well to understand how they function. So it would absolutely be according with the protocol. Something I didn't take time to play with. I had to concentrate on two things. Work and relax my mind enough to go on with it. And I think I hit, did what nobody possibly could anyways. Um, so I tell him, you know, this, none of this stuff, none of this accumulators, none of these batteries are going anywhere. Uh, especially also because there are also proofs about the stuff which I video recorded and did not post online. But it's really important, it's essential to note that they have done something to my car, jam, uh, most likely. Um, discs uh, with whatever comes with a factory problems on this type of car. Because uh, they always wanted to say that, you know, create the conspiracy theory out of the stuff that's actually proven there was something wrong with something. Uh, it had a, like a factory problem. I think this car's Citroën Xara, I think they had some kind of issue, likely, with the discs. Now, am I sure about it? No. Uh, I just remember the mechanic from the village who had exactly this car inside of the garage, where my car is parked right now. Uh, and they, he ended up using a tractor, literally, you know, a tractor, like the one for the work on the field. Uh, hook one into the towing hook from the car and try to move the car. And the car simply would not move or whatever they have done with a fuck with the car. Um, uh, listen, um, I tried everything possible to move the car because the car should be on the sun if you understand me what I'm saying. And it's not on the sun. It's inside of the garage where there's a lot of mold, where it's humid, because the very core, the very idea police have was to destroy the interior of my car with the mold. So there's no fucking way I could start this car. Uh, that it went to the hell without my even having the ability to move the fucking wheels in the car. And that left me with the only one choice. And this is something that they procrastinated the case is going to be. That involves the neighbor Berger Miroslav, that's an attorney that would travel to the Belgrade uh, also with his wife, a very, very pro Serbian, pro Yugoslavia, on a weekly basis to this assembly, to this parliament in Belgrade. Um, it involved other people who wanted me to cry in pain and in vain, basically watch how the car is going to rot in the way because I wouldn't take care of one, because I wouldn't keep one in shape, clean one. Uh, in the meanwhile, during MK Ultra, they inserted in the car scenario, uh, attacked with a mold, um, all sorts of products that would rather even destroy interior. Talking, if you're talking about the wheel, uh, leather kind of issues. Uh, fucking leaving your car basically destroyed by the time is spring. Uh, and well, the thing is that um, 
I video recorded this stuff in respect to battery because the cables that were used was too short that I could use the car from my father, which I delivered next to the garage and pull the cables so that I could jump start the car, my car. It did not work, and this shit was involved in MK Ultra. Uh, then I went on to try, uh, it's like a little charger that you can connect in the current and use that one to charge uh, just the battery, just enough so the car would start. But that was a real problem, which I even recorded in MK Ultra. Somebody had battery blown up. It was all kinds of stuff that went on. So I cut that short. And the biggest problem for which I was told that in MK Ultra, if I would touch that stuff, would be a problem with electronic. Before I did that stuff, on a Citroën, uh, I researched the internet. So I decided, I said to myself, fuck it, the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the battery uh, and whatever, wherever it will be, it will be. Uh, and that's exactly what I did. But that doesn't mean that someone has the right to just come here without even asking me and dump one on a junkyard. Uh, I hope the same would apply to other batteries. Uh, but I guess it didn't. Mitya uh, Weber, Golop, insisted during MK Ultra, will repeatedly return home uh, to instigate into a physical confrontation. So, if I would hear him and would come downstairs and he, they would get enough of my attention, and it's interesting because that's exactly what it was. He was right under the terrace with those accumulators they had. Uh, funny, because he was not much uh, motivated in taking them in the car. Something I believe he even repeated already before, but I did not express enough interest. All through, he was making himself loud and so on. And according to this scenario, he would keep repeating the same shit, the same stuff, till I would come downstairs and the whole thing would develop into physical confrontation fight. So I can clearly say that this individual is the number one, number one man inside of our family that came in our family from uh, Mr. Milan Kutran. I can clearly indicate that I have the right person. I know exactly who this person is, who this individual is. Mita uh, Golov Weber. Yeah, of course, he is in a different political party and he does stuff different. But, you know, a small me, a little myself, I know what this case was all about. And talk doesn't do shit to me. In fact, play a major role, the main role here. And today on, there is absolutely no doubt about who this individual is. So I asked him, no, fuck no, uh, this to Dinos, to the junkyard, uh, let him stay here. Huh? Let's go back a little bit and I'll do this again. What is this here? Uh, he says, accumulatory, uh, car batteries. And I said, from who are they? Uh, I ask, uh, is there like one that is yours here? He says, no. Mama asked me to take them to the junkyard. Uh, yes, I'm uh, I stated to him, mother has nothing to say about this accumulators, our batteries, they stay here. Uh, one of these accumulators, car batteries, I tell him, is actually even mine. Uh, so he's got the answer ready, and he goes, uh, take then your accumulator. I don't know. Uh, take your accumulator, and uh, I will take the other two to the dinos, 
on a junkyard. And I said, both, all of them are going to stay here. Um, yeah. Um, he says, no, no way, they're going to the junkyard. Uh, he says to my mom, he says, I am not allowed to, to take these car batteries to these accumulators. I'm not allowed to take them. And mother comes and says, yes, you can. Yes, you can. All of them. Take all of them. You can take all of them. Uh, okay, so I'm going to take them all. Uh, yeah, take them all, mama says. Uh, I said, why take everything to my mother? And she says, she claims, because they're all no good. Uh, this is also the theory that was uh, used, actually, to subject me from him alone into resistance of this stuff. According to Mitya Weber, it became clear. He insisted that I have to take a photos, video record everything. Because once he's going to take them to the dinos, uh, and eventually police is going to come and will demand to have this accumulator's batteries back, according to MK Ultra scenario, uh, it would be other accumulators, it would be other batteries that would be given uh, in return. As for this batteries that you see right there, Mitya Weber claimed that he tested them during MKUltra, uh, and they worked fine. I don't know how much money that they were worth each. Uh, they were like new, they were precious, they were, I don't know what the fuck. So now, if you don't take uh, you know, pictures, photos of it. Uh, he actually was the one who incited in a paranoia in respect to these issues here. Now, this did not have anything to do with, uh, I would say that this, this was it. You know, no, 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 no. This pertains to other crime, to the statement my mother made also, uh, to all kinds of other issues. Uh, that concerned father and both and me and my car and the way they did the setup so that I could not charge my fucking battery and so on. The whole fucking thing. I recorded two gigabytes just pertaining to my battery issues. Uh, and now you're taking basically days before this case would end. You're taking this proofs away from me. It's sure it made me like shit, feel like a shit, but still... Since my father is home for elderly people, and she became a designated property, um, how can I properly even express myself to this? A designated property authorized, uh, you know, for Blaschanitz. Um, and that's his property, and so on. I realize I'm not going to get anywhere with this stuff, and so. What I do is, uh, I tell him that I will go and I will take pictures, photos, uh, video, and stuff like this that I will record. Oh, but the problem is the fucking telephone that I mentioned to you earlier really had proven to be a phone uh, next to his attitude. His attitude was pushy, uh, demanding, uh, to the degree, basically, with such a hurry, the whole thing, as you're about to learn that uh, it really made me nervous, okay? Still, I handled myself, but what he pursued with intent to create the incident out of it was just a little bit too much. Uh, Mama is cleaning the house, and they had to go out of the house. All of a sudden, they need to go out of the house. I don't know. House is like probably 20 by 15. I don't know how big this house is. And there is no fucking place for the three batteries, for the three car batteries. But actually, if they're good, they're quite expensive too. It's not only about the proofs, but about the issues also, as I mentioned. <laughs> 
Ta akumulator tuki e moj. Tu e ena svati pu. So I tell my mom, this accumulator, this battery is from my car Citroën. This is the one my mother personally have removed from my car. From the car which I placed in the father's car in the trunk. From my car. And I tell her, listen, you don't have to worry about this accumulator so much. I see this really as a, a theft, a form of attempt to steal. Uh, and I tell her, listen, you're going to have a police here one of these days at just about any time. Something I started on April the 24th, and I'm really working on it. Uh, the police somehow stole the same day as I had it to the father from the police station. Just as I have explained the police officer today at the police station by literally attempting to break me even a spine. Literally by using father who would not want to uh, participate in what he wanted me to take him out on a fresh air and so on. And best to accommodate him. Despite my damage that I have, this guy is not capable to stand up on a fit, uh, not even sit, basically. Uh, that's what it looks like. But it's funny when it, I ended up actually even not only holding him, but just according to MK Ultra scenario for which they were making ridiculous me during MK Ultra. Well, I lifted him up from the chair so that I would put him on the bed. He grabbed the chair, the wheelchair, the fucking wheelchair. Uh, and as I tried to lift him, this guy just fucking acting like he's going to faint while holding the wheelchair with his uh, fist. You know what I mean? Uh, he would not release the fucking wheelchair. And the point is that this, according to time capture scenario, would not be the result of by breaking the spine, which is in a bad condition. But actually, the anger for what I suggested you at the beginning of this video, the police insisted me in the upper area where the offices are, that I should throw the police director through the window when I meet him, when I finally see him. Of course, I never would do that. This was not the nature of my visit to the police station, of course, uh, when I, which I did on the April the 24th. It's an audio recording. It's available. You can hear, you can understand exactly what this was all about. But it's exactly the same kind of issue they have used with the father at home for elderly people where they insisted me, suggested me, that when he's going to do the stuff like this, it's just a matter of time before I would grab one and toss one through the window. Uh, at home for elderly people. This is basically the same shit. The police, and the same psychiatrists, the same investigators, same people did the torture, did the torture the police, did the torture the home for elderly people, using father to do stupid shit, uh, and anticipated eventually that I would, uh, according to MK Ultra scenario, my spine would be broken once he would pretend and act so stupid like he did, because it's everything is on the video. That I would get so angry that I would actually literally lift him on the bed. Oh, uh, I think he's got, I don't know how many fucking kilos, maybe 90 kilos. I don't know how many kilos he has. That's a whole lot for the damaged spine. Now, uh, what they targeted is actually a sciatic nerve in my spine. That's totally, totally fucked up issue which they insisted me I already have a big problems with. Uh, this is when psychiatrist Peter Kapp stated, uh, when well, you're going to get angry and you're going to pull the father who will pretend stupid. This is when you're going to break your spine. You know? This is the type of stuff we are talking about here in this case. Definitely not very nice people. Well, this is the next video I'll be releasing about uh, basically what took place after I did paid visit to my father on April the 24th and April the 25th. That's basically right after I visited police station on April the 24th. Uh, it's, it's quite interesting stuff, truly interesting stuff, the way they designed to 
drive completely insane. Accumulator is pus suki. Nebo nebe. Um, I am trying my best to keep this batteries, car batteries. Now I did realize that sooner than not, uh, if mother will not allow for me to keep those batteries, I will have to let go. Eventually, what happens is I tell my mom that one of these accumulators is mine. She gives me a permission. Actually, excuse me. Uh, obviously, uh, she suggests me to even take one away from what I recall. After I tell her that one of them is mine, she tells me, take it. If it's yours, uh, place one on a proper place, whatever. I try to insist her to leave all the batteries, car batteries, accumulators at home. No. So I grab mine and I take one away. Once I do that, she jumps and she demands me to return my uh, accumulator to Amitya so that he can take them on a junkyard. She is acting at this point in time like she doesn't know what the fuck even she's saying. Hey, colega. I see that there is no way to talk to them in absolutely any way. So what I do is, after I take mine away, I tell niece's husband, Mitya Weber, that if However, he will take this batteries accumulators uh, that before he would do this, that I would take photos, pictures of them. Now, at this point in time, he is a bit uh, sarcastic about it. He's like, just take the photos as much as you want, it's no problem. Uh, yeah, I said, I sure will. Uh, as a matter of fact, in meanwhile, right, as I took mine to the garage, he had his car batteries already at his car. Okay, they were right next to the car. Uh, this is actually the photo of him standing next to the car on a parking lot. He took them uh, and I asked him that I will take a few photos. He agreed to that. And the camera, as I stated, the camera that I demonstrated you, the sun glare, made so many problems to me with, without even using a timestamp camera. I squeezed three photos out of it, and uh, well, I figure out that uh, there's really nothing I can do about this because really these people did not announce themselves anything, and I figure out what is the purpose of doing this stuff when I don't even see the through the sun glare, I don't even see the camera, and he's in a, such a hurry. You know, did you realize what hurry this was? Uh, there was even no way to talk about absolutely anything and accumulators already were at his car so now at this point in time i signaled him basically that i did uh took the photos and videos however it was signaling i was not happy about it i didn't feel like saying to him okay thank you now you can take them whatever uh, nobody asked me, nobody announced himself. I gave him the sign, just as the two of us basically agreed that after I'm going to take a few pictures, photos, 
whatever he would take this uh, with him these two accumulators these two batteries so i give him the signal and he places them in the car now this is what he made this is what he was going to make a major breakthrough this is i suggested on the you're going to see under the text you're going to see there is this issue here in english language already this is what he made a mistake you know um he was certain during mk ultra already that if because it was audio recorded, right? It's one thing I had, audio recorder. He had cameras and audio recorder, but I definitely had audio recorders on. So, since I did not verbally approve, uh, basically, that, that I ended taking photos and pictures, and I only did this visibly, half verbally basically suggested him that that's it thank you uh you can take them now basically um he used the opportunity by stating me good luck srečno uh once he stated to me srečno he grabbed both accumulators were right there and he did place them inside of the car once he placed them inside of the car however that's what's interesting to me he no longer was in a hurry you know what i'm saying once the two accumulators were inside of the car there was a, such a hurry but once these two accumulators were inside of the car he no longer was in a hurry so now he starts what i saw as a verbal assault and that was the stuff he built literally on my not suggesting him verbally uh to you know that is okay uh that he can take this uh accumulators like we previously agree after i take a few photos and that's it so what he would do is he tried to push a physical confrontation down my throat like this. Uh, my mom says uh, the other accumulator. Uh, go ahead and uh, store one, store that one inside of the garage. Yeah, it's also possible that it was not accumulator that I put that inside of the garage yet. That's also possible. That also is possible. The thing is, the fucking telephone did not turn on the camera that I wanted, the timestamp camera. That was a big problem. So it's possible that instead I had it inside, it's possible even that this uh, accumulator was still outside, whatever mother said that I should go and store mine inside of the garage. So he is ready to depart. Kaj ti misliš? Kaj jaz mislim? Koga kaj jaz mislim? Kaj misliš? Kaj kaj jaz mislim? I am not happy about this stuff. Really, really unhappy about it. The whole thing, the way this stuff was done, almost stealing me. Battery accumulator. I'm just really, really not happy at this point in time. Now he asked me and he says to me, what do you think you no, know, he did not finish the sentence, what do you think you are, or something like that. But what do you think, and I didn't feel right about that. And I said, what, what, uh, uh, what do I think what, I told him. What do I think what? I, I asked him, what, what is it, what do I think? What is it, what do I think? I mean, it was pretty obvious it was pretty evident about what went on so i said what what is it that what i think that i think what he says to me move yourself away uh, basically move out of the way i was not anywhere on his way no, no. i asked him the question instead i said 
where are you at right now? Yes, it is there. So I repeat the question, where are you at right now? This was my question on his question. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think you are? I wanted to get the answer from him. Where are you at right now on the question? What do I think I am? Obviously. Yes, it is. Uh, now what he does is he places both hands of my on my arms. Yes, left hand on the left arm stretched and right hand stretched on my arm wow why the fuck would you do this and once he does that what i do is i don't know what kind of trick this was but what i do is i blow his uh, two hands away with a right hand is basically what i do i don't allow anybody placing hands on me that was the whole thing went a little bit too far. Uh, the two were with the mother were really, really, really patronizing that day. And it was really about attempted theft of my battery, of my accumulator. And I wasn't going to take that fucking nonsense about even asking, well, who the fuck I think I am without him answering me the question of where do you where does he think he is at this is not his home here i am at home here no? this is where i live it i didn't come to his home to do problems uh, i didn't go to his home to steal and eventually even a lesson give somebody a lecture about who the fuck you think you are or something like that like it did happen here, this place. So what I do is after he put the two hands on my shoulders, I blow those two hands away with my right hand. And I ask him again a question. Where do you think you are at? I want him to answer me the question because this was inappropriate completely. The whole thing. Now he gets really threatening to me and insists that I move out of my out of his way. And I repeat him the question, where are you at right now? He should not put the hands on me under any circumstances. Um my mom, I don't know what did she suggest. She suggests what? Yes, it is dollar. Yes, it is dollar. Yes, it is dollar. Um, this is where he is trying to build his case against me. I was not the one who touched him. He was the one who placed arms and uh, his hands on me now he is saying to me touch me one more time and i will call the police wow uh that's interesting yes you will please what i tell him i will be the one who will call the police now when he tells me if you touch me one more time I will call the police. I tell him, I will call the police right now. He says, call them, call them. I ask him a question again. Where are you at right now? The next thing I ask him, who placed hands on whom? My mother says that I did. I ask him a question. Did you place your hands on my arms or not? Uh, he gets really, really aggressive. 
at this point in time. And he started yelling, screaming, threatening. I asked him one more question. I asked him question, who pushed you away? I didn't touch him. Uh, I asked him a question. Uh, who pushed your hands away? Hands, basically, which he placed on my arms. Uh, he does not answer. Uh, he continues with really, really aggressive, threatening way. Commanding me, giving me a order to move myself away. Uh, what I do is I ask him, who pushed you away? Uh, who pushed you away, boy? Who pushed you away? Uh, my mother says to the niece's husband, she says, leave him alone. Don't you see he is mentally ill? I ask him, I continue, to, I, I continue to ask him a question. Who pushed your hands off my shoulders? He says to me, you hit me. I say to him, no, I did not hit you. Now he goes on and he screams again. He goes into my face now about like 20 centimeters away from my face, which is funny because it appeared it was a personal space that I didn't give him enough. And it's what he also explains, gives us a reason that he did this to keep me on a distance. But this is not exactly how you keep the distance from anybody. That's not how you keep the distance. What he did was... Let me demonstrate you exactly what he did. What he did was he placed uh, the right hand, which is this one, kind of funny, right? Uh, let's just say this is right one, because that's the way it is on the computer. Uh, he did that. He placed on my right uh, shoulders, right? <laughs> Uh, and the left one also on my left shoulders and hold me. Uh, so with extended hands like this. So what I did was, uh, there's a lot of people that could do a lot of things. Uh, some people would probably grab his hand and twist one and do the stuff like this, but this is just not my style. And so what I did was I blow his hand off my, two hands off my uh, from my arms, right? Where he holded me, what I did was I smashed like this both of his hands down. That's the only thing I did. That means that he was the one who touched me, something he complained about. Then he would not provide with the answer uh, and even suggested that I hit him. No, I did not hit him. That's not hitting anybody. If I would hit him, that would be different. Uh, the thing is, I did not make any physical contact with him. He was the one who did so. Uh, I explained to him what I did was, because he already agreed to that, you know, he admitted here, uh, that I want him to be very, very technical about uh, in other words, if I go again, uh, this uh, uh, tactic that I have used, it really, really pays off. When I started to ask him a question, where are you right now? 
where are you at? And I, I continue to ask him, oh, where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? I wanted him to be aware about where he is at because of his behavior. And it really, really paid off because he stated that even that I that I hit him, which I absolutely did the only thing that I explained. Absolutely did not. Um, and he was trying to escalate this into a bigger physical confrontation, coming literally in my face, uh, suggesting me that I have to move out of his face, where I would continue to ask him a question, uh, even ask him who pushed him away, uh, declining to agree verbally on how I hit him, uh, clearly pointing out what I did, that I uh, pushed his hands, slammed his hands from my shoulders, uh, till the point that I made him feel like, with a question basically, which I previously have used, where are you at? Like, testing him out psychologically to see if he is mentally even present. If he is capable to respond to the simple question, as per where it was that, like, are you even aware, basically, that just now you placed hands on me and what I did was I slammed those hands down because he claimed that I hit him. So he finally goes and he admits that I hit his hands which he placed on my shoulders to keep the distance from me. Oh, okay. So, well, that's a very, very, very different thing. Uh, and once he said, once he gave me the admission of what he did, I told him, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the police. Well, in that moment, I was going to go and call the police, but he stated he doesn't have a time for the idiots like myself. And he gave me his address. Um, Skalitsky Vega 7, something like this, where uh, he, according to Ed Kiyotra, planned on would uh, have police come. Uh, this is where the police would come. I would go basically, according to Ed Kiyotra, scenario to the police station, make the report, sit in the car with exactly the car that was parked right in front of the police station, uh, and then at this Skalitsky Vega 7, uh, the police would simply resolve the case in his favor with transporting me literally into the CTSG hospital, Ljubljana, Polia. That's all there ever was. Now, uh, what I am going to do is I am going to go ahead, and the only thing I will do is I will have the whole thing translated to you again. Uh, I might even use some. Uh, gestured hand gestures whatever so that you understand for better understanding uh let's finish this uh, he starts to give me his address all of a sudden he is again in a hurry <laughs> he is again in a hurry uh he needs to go now uh, he gives me his address, he repeats his address uh, if, if the police is going to meet me. Uh, and he's in a hurry and he tells that he doesn't have a time uh, to deal with the idiots like myself. Uh, by the time I reach upstairs, the telephone and call uh, for the police assistance, he's already gone. He's already out at the gate and he's gone. Uh, I try to keep him. I I try to keep him. I do my best to keep him around. Uh, I ask him, where are you trying to escape? What are you running for? What are you running from? And he says, no, I'm not running from anything. Uh, 
he just doesn't have a time to deal with the idiots like myself. All of a sudden, again, he's in a hurry. Because, really, honestly, when he said, good luck, uh, I thought this, this was it. I thought that he's going to sit in the car because he was in a hurry all the time. But once the batteries were inside of the car, he no longer was in a hurry. Uh, he wanted to know who do I think I am. So, uh, mom says that uh, she will be the one calling the police. Uh, she, he, he is very, very commanding. Uh, he's very, very um, acting like in charge of the situation. Um, but this is already when I am rushing upstairs and looking for the telephone to call the police. I'm not waiting for him, which was uh, actually a mistake. Uh, I have made it right now. It was a mistake. I have made it just right now because uh he likely had a telephone uh behind my back that if i would recall mk ultra scenario i definitely would go inside of the garage i definitely would go see on the window around to see whether there truly was a telephone which he insisted he would place also during mk ultra so he would also have a video recording facing his uh toward his face that that that, uh, that he would use, yeah? Uh, another issue that I would say about Mr. Mitya Weber is that there is like a little incline where he parked the, the car, yeah? If I go back to this video here. Woods, with um, um, the hook him up and pulling the car because the car had problem with the discs. Uh, and sure, when I smashed his hands off my uh, shoulders, because what he did was he took. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do it like this. I hope that I will. Ah, there you go. This is like a little incline you know, toward the house that you see right in front of the, our home. Uh, it's like an incline. Look at that. Uh, during MK Ultra, because he continually have rehearsed and rehearsed this pushing, wrestling, the first time I understand, I even managed to handle him, jocked up as I was, uh, which is like rather really, really embarrassing. Uh, this is basically what I explained in the video about it. So this is like a hill, uh, like going uphill, like a little incline. You see, during MK Ultra, he insisted to me, yes, he insisted to me that I should be really careful when he starts screaming at me, especially when he comes close to my face and a distance, close distance to me, like he did. He literally got into my face. Uh, because he will be on a higher end uh, and that will give him an excellent support so that he will have ability to push me backwards uh, toward the grass and beat the fuck out of me. That's how he claimed that in MK Ultra it's going to be. And also rehearsed this. Would you know with whom Mitya Weber have rehearsed this stuff with on several occasions? And it's what makes me really, really happy about doing my job. He did this with a Dushan Harlander, with a physician, with a doctor who was involved in MKUltra, who claimed that if I would physically manage to beat him up, that it would be exactly he who would run to his rescue, literally in front of the our house, on a parking lot, exactly where you see another individual joined to the violence of the parking lot during MK Ultra. It was a doctor, Dushan 
Harlander, the neighbor about whom I have released the video the same day. Yeah, this was after midnight that was posted on the internet on May 11, and then uh, already in the morning hours I had this incident. Yeah, so this guy is quite tall, he looks quite strong, very sporty, uh, and he also demonstrated his physical fitness uh, ability to be physical. Uh, he's not that young, I think, anymore, but um, yeah, he posed and claimed that uh, he would be the one rushing to him to the rescue. You know? So how much is this stuff related to this individual, the neighbor? Well, enough that he's going to get a police call. That much, that much enough. Uh, the two doctors, uh, the two individuals with doctoral degrees that tried to intimidate have really, really fallen short with it. From reaching any goals they had on their mind. Um, the thing about this stuff, when it comes to MK Ultra, about MK Ultra issues, the thing about this stuff is this parking lot the goal was to be in every level whatever level place every attack where the attacks would take place all this one thing is characteristic every attack that took place every attack that took place every attack that took place every fucking time it was always whatever the cameras were. This is always one thing is characteristic. That's how the schizophrenia is proven. It yeah, every physical attack, every attack that has taken place on me, always have taken place on me wherever the cameras were. Uh, I'm going to put it this way. Nowhere more ever. I'm going to say nowhere more ever, absolutely nowhere more ever than uh, at the home for elderly people where the police exercised Mount Everest of crime against me. And when you're going to see, I'm going to release the video about uh, police crime enforced against me on April the 24 and April the 25, uh, boy, I guarantee it's going to fucking blow your leaks off your brain. Uh, the stuff, the way they have done it and try to prove the schizophrenia because there is a lot of cameras at the home for elderly people it's just going to blow your mind away uh, now that's just what I started to do is if you paid attention lately I started to, when pertaining to my case demonstrate you how you prove the schizophrenia to somebody how the police Proves the schizophrenia that is completely unproven, non existing thing to somebody, uh, literally through uh, setting him up through the situations which involve uh, post MK Ultra. I would say MK Ultra, MK Ultra is a brainwash, right? Uh, so, post situation. Uh, where cameras are located to develop, uh, to obtain the proof for the schizophrenia. Even if there is no schizophrenia, the schizophrenia doesn't exist. Uh, this is what I dedicated myself, and I'm looking forward to really to release the video about my father, about visit to him, what, how far they have gone to prove the case of the schizophrenia. That video is an eye-opener. Uh, definitely an eye opener. This today that I demonstrated to you, uh, this is also how they try to prove the existence of the schizophrenia. Uh, not available. What I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and have this whole thing to you, this part here, one more time translated to you. Um, that's what I'm going to do right now. That's all I'm going to do, translate to you. That's all.
I might have reset the phone because they see it in one minute, one in one minute and a half before I came to him downstairs. No. Uh, hello, uh, hello, Sebastian. Hello, Bob. Uh, what is this here? Uh, accumulators, car batteries. Uh, whose car batteries, I ask? Is there like one that is yours here? Uh, no, mother said that she wants them to be taken to uh, the junkyard, to the dinos. Uh, mother has nothing to say about this. It's not going to the dinos. This is not going to the junkyard. It's staying right here. Uh, this one here, I demonstrated him. This one particular belongs to me. It's mine, actually. Um, if it's yours, take yours. Uh, take one away if it's yours. Take it away. Uh, all of them are going to stay. No, they're not going to stay because mother said I have to take. Uh, I uh, I should take them to the junkyard. Uh, talk to your mother. Uh, he is now saying to my mother that I don't allow him to drive them to the junkyard. Um, actually, that he's not allowed to take them to the junkyard. Not that I don't allow him, but, well, uh, mother says, yes, you can. No? You can take them all. Okay, so if I can take them all, then I will drive them away all. Funny thing, right? Because we just have a conversation and one of them was mine. It's okay. It's okay. So I asked why? Take all. Because they're none of them are good. So that's interesting because my mom doesn't know anything about which one is mine, uh, but she knows there are all none of them are good. That's what's interesting to me. So I I I am missing here a lot of stuff. I I it seems like I don't know. There were people here that they tested them out or whatever the case might be. I don't know anything about that stuff. They're no good, and they need to go. They need to go out of the house. Clean them out of the house. Uh, this battery, this car battery here is mine. That's one thing I'm going to say to you. And I'm going to have a police come to you to visit you one of these days, just about any time. If it's yours, take one away, mother says. Uh, I try to keep this batteries, car batteries, but she doesn't allow me. She, I say, leave them here. Uh, she says, no, take them away. And what I do is I go uh, what another appears with a telephone inside of the house so that I can video record this stuff, so that I can take photos of it. Mom says, come over here right now. Hey, colega. And so I get the camera, the other camera I got. I didn't get the timestamp camera and somehow the other type of camera, like I demonstrated, came up. And I see that he does have this batteries already next to his car. And so what I do is, hey, if you're going to take them away, this car batteries, uh, 
I will take few photos of them before you take them away. So he gives me a permission. So the two of us agree. I don't plan on blocking him, uh, taking car batteries away. Uh, and the two of us agree that before he's going to take the two batteries away, he will allow me, however, to take few photos. Which is kind of sarcastically replies to me, as many as you want, do whatever you want to do. Kolo pelo bom je še posliko. Izvoli, ti posliko, ne treba reden, boš ti to naredo. Ti je samo posliko, izvoli. Brez skrbi, da bom. Srečno. So, I do take few photos. I don't actually... The way this stuff was done was like, you could hear me. Before you're going to drive this away, I'm just going to take a few photos. I do press three times, and he already says to me, uh, good luck, just like this, you know. Um, and I indicate him, I indicate him, yeah, that's it. I mean, there's nothing else here to do, all right? So... Mom comes to me and says, the accumulator that you have uh, in front of the garage, go and uh, put that accumulator inside on a proper place, like in that sense. Um, he asked me, what do I think? Uh, what do I think? No, but not in a sense, what do you think? You know, not in a sense, what do you think? But uh, what do you, basically in a sense, what do you think you are? What do you think? You know, like, what do you think in that sense? What do you think? And I don't understand what that's supposed to mean now. What do I think? So I ask, what do I think what? I said, what, what is it? What do I think? No. Plain and simple, he did not announce himself, and one of the car batteries was mine. So I want to know what exactly is he's asking me about. What do I think? What do I think? What do I think? What? Uh, interesting. He goes and starts suggesting me to move myself away. I start to asking him, where do you think you are at right now? Yes, it is there. So I continue to ask him, where are you at right now? Uh, now, he goes too far. He places hands on both of my arms. It is there. And I continue to ask him uh, after I blow the two hands of my shoulders. Where are you right now at? Where are you right now at? Uh, he becomes threatening to me. To what I increase to it, I ask him, where are you at right now? He should not place hands on me. No, he shouldn't do that. He really shouldn't do that. He says, you're going to touch me one more time, I'm going to call the police. Yes, you will please. I tell him, I will be the one, I will be the one who will call the police right now. He says, call them, call them. I ask him, where are you right now? Who placed hands on whom? I ask him a question. My mother says you did. I asked him, did you did you place hands on me right now? I asked him, did you place your hands on me right now? Oh, now he gets really violent 
and start to reiterate, repeat, move away from me, move away from me. I asked him a question, who was the one who pushed you away? I did not even push him away, I pushed his hands away. Now he goes threatening, move yourself away from me. I asked him, who pushed you away, boy? Who pushed you away, boy? Who pushed you away? Uh, mother says, uh, leave him alone, he's mentally ill. He says, you hit me. Oh, so now, ha <laughs> I definitely did not push him anywhere. I pushed his hands of my shoulders. And he makes a statement, in fact, that I hit him. This is why I correct him. And I say to him, you placed your hands on me, on both of my shoulders. I ask him, did you or you did not? And he says, you hit me. I said, I never did. I never hit you. And again, he goes with the same thing. Move yourself away. I explain him. I pushed your hands away from my shoulders. That's a big difference or smashing his hands down of the, sh the shoulders that he places on his hands. He goes again. Uh, I, this, this voice actually is so sickening. Uh, <laughs> um, repeating the same thing. Move yourself away from me. Some orchestra. I heard this voice so many times that I really do not like it. I repeat him. I remove your hands away. Who placed hands on whom? I ask him. Yes, and our He says, I placed hands on you. Because you came too close to me. And I said to him, I'm going to call the police right now. He gave me the address, Skalitska Street 7. Uh, the police can come at Skalitska Street 7. Uh, the police is allowed to come. I said, uh, why don't you wait for me? No, that's funny because a little earlier he stated that he's going to call the police. Um, what appeared that he was in a hurry, he no longer was in a hurry. He was in something else. Um, I am calling the police, but all of a sudden again he's in a hurry. Why don't you call? Why don't you wait for the police? So what she said is, with a, such an idiot like you are, I don't have time to waste time. And he keeps repeating the same thing. Uh, the address is Skalitskie Vega 7. How many times did he repeated this stuff? And what I do is I ask him instead, where, why are you running away? What are you trying to escape? Where are you running? This was my answer, basically, on acknowledging me as an idiot with whom he doesn't have a time to waste. He says, if you're not running away, because he says he's not running away, I said, then wait for me here, because I'm calling the police. He continues to repeat his address, Skalitsky Vega 7. He sits in the car uh, and appears as if he is out of the gate. 
Go on. Uh, I like that voice. And don't you hear that fucking voice? I mean, the way he is still in controlling situation. Uh, nothing happened afterwards. Uh, nothing happened afterwards. By the time I came downstairs, he was gone. Ti je moja baterija. Tu spravljo. Ti je moja baterija. Pusti na mjer. U česa je to tvoje. Um when I tell her that this is my car battery um she's asking me what from? What what is it from? Your battery from what? Uh, obviously from my car. Uh which she knows very good, as I say, that you were the one who removed that battery out of my car. And she calls me a dunk, stupid dunk, damn, stuff like that. So it doesn't bother me, that's fine. I all the stuff together the police department. Yeah, camera, this stuff, but they jam my camera. They have ability to jam the camera. They did jam the camera. They did that kind of stuff. I was really, really confused in about the situation. Uh, they really made it again somehow. I don't know what this is. I don't know how the fuck they do that, but there you go. Uh, they succeeded in it. Uh, and the next thing I had to the police department, mother, however, demanded from me to go walking. Yes, she demanded from me that I have to go walking and not use the father's car, which I use to transfer her to the father and or to go pick her up. Uh, not allowed to use uh, for the purpose of visiting a local police station. But also, if I did commit the crime that day, I did so by using the father's car without her permission. Uh, the father's car, however, she made sure I would be authorized to use with the insurance company. But if she did insure the car, she placed me as the main driver of the vehicle. Uh, put my name on insurance and everything, certified uh, that... I can use the car and so on. So I used the car anyway. She threw some more insults at me, but fuck it. I had to go to the police department and report this. So the camera simply will not know what I know. They want police off. Here, mommy. The police, mommy. Uh, I go to the police. Uh, you're not allowed to go walking and so on. Oh, that kind of stuff. Kaya. Si dobila koga, da ti bo pomagal dost? Da ti bo pomagal, v redu. Več kot tebi. Ja? Dobro je. Let me hear this again, what she stated. She says that I am dizzy. 
I'll repeat basically the stuff which they did uh, with the psychiatrists, the medications, all that stuff. Uh, I, you know, you would not believe your own mother, people like this, how much pleasure they took in actually in pain they caused with the psychiatric pills. I, I cannot believe that they had parents like this. That this is a type of family that surrounded me. Fucking no, because the people that are involved in MT Ultra, they always signal two things. One side, like the one that wants to help you out, and the other one that is acting threatening. And yes, actually, the third one too. That's the one that is used to ungoingly harass, intimidate, basically, wear, tear you down till you actually fall apart. Uh, regardless of what the fuck you do. Because the goal of MKUltra is actually to get you killed. Most of the people get killed with police, psychiatrists engaging in them into fucking oblivion uh, with issues involving MKUltra. And their minds actually shut off. Uh, they, whatever they do, um, that's how they get rid of most of the people. It's a strategy. That every MK Ultra has. See the bill of dust. What I do is I don't argue with her when she suggests this kind of stuff. And what I do is I ask her a question if she got somebody that will help her enough. She says, You are dizzy. You are dizzy. I said, yeah, you're gonna, You did get somebody that's going to help you out. Yeah. Hello, Redo. Is it good? Is it good? Is it going to help you out? Yeah. Because the one who cooked this shit was my mother, you know. <laughs> she delivered the husband from my niece at home to do the stuff like this. But behind it all, overall, who cooked this shit? It traces straight to a Mr. Milan Kuchan into the year 1997. 1997. This is the individual right here. This guy here, this one. This is the man. This is the man who loved this parking lot, who claimed that he would destroy me in this parking lot, that this is going to be it. You know? This is the guy. The police did record at him. People did record at him because they told me that if you can get this guy they told me on occasion, because they asked me if I remember who was here, if I remember also inside of the garage, you know, inside of the garage uh, where the father car is parked, when he was giving me a promise in 97, in 98, then again, when he repeatedly gave me promise how he's going to destroy me, because I told him inside of this household, I told him, there is nothing yours, and nobody inside of this household supports you. And if you don't believe me this, if you still want to meet my parents, it's okay. But I want you to remember that you have no place to be around here as far as I'm concerned. You're not welcome here. You're the type of politician that should never be in Slovenia. You have actually no right to be in Slovenia. It's not about only this household, this house. So but if you're going to come here at all in Ultra, do not approach me. Approach my parents, but as far as I'm concerned, you don't even exist. Oh, this was really bad because he promised me that this is the place, the parking, where he would destroy me. You know, so um, who the hell would have thought that we have something like this moving into the family? You know? It's a quite, really quite interesting case, but he was recorded. I was questioned about if I remember what happened. Uh, and beginning the 2002, if not 2001, something like this, is where the wrestling started with Mitya Weber. Uh, with my drugged up as I was, he couldn't do anything about it. Um, and then I understand he started to also take some classes on, I don't know on what, or judo. I think it was Jude or something like that, and uh, uh, he wanted to look 
big and strong in front of my mother and in front of my father so that, you know, pretty much everybody did depicting me as nobody and nothing. Uh, I think it's important part you do during MK Ultra to assure, uh, to, uh, to, you know, to create certainty with the individual whom you want to use against somebody that he better doesn't try to even think about helping somebody because he's not going to be able to help one. Uh, and so, you know, they keep failing with these issues. You know, they, they, they did not accomplish anything. They are doing this on locations which they do have cameras, but they are always falling very, very short of getting anything done. Uh, at the police station, the police officer is trying to put in my mouth uh, that I am reporting uh, also what would be a theft of a car battery of um, accumulator, you know. Uh, and I tried to explain it was much more than that. This was an attempt to have a physical altercation through which they attempted to hospitalize me. Uh, we did not get to this degree because investigators did not understood, as I stated, what MKL tree is, did not make sense to proceed with this. Um, no, this was attempt to steal the battery, my battery from my car. Uh, and exactly what I say was attempt to get me killed. It was attempt literally to get me killed. Well, if you need, if you have a health problem such as cancer issues, uh, you probably first need, uh, basically, to stay alive. You need, uh, you need to be examined, evaluated your problems. Uh, and I don't even think these problems are easy solvable. Really, I don't think these problems are solvable at all. I think that the problems I have now, I'll probably have to live with them for the rest of my life. It's not a good thing at all. You, know, you don't get that kind of attention, and you get instead a psychiatric deals, and you are dead in a matter of days, maybe. Months, if not days. I don't think I would even last years with the psychiatric deals under this kind of circumstance, this kind of physical condition. Is what I'm trying to say, yeah. And that was the goal of Mr. Milan Kuchan. He had tried to do this 26, 27 years after he promised me that he would destroy me on this parking lot. You know? Which, through the psychiatrist, through this individual who would keep this alive all these years, uh, they occasionally would repeat this. Now I must say that. When he came to me in my face, just 20, 20 centimeters from my face, and this after he complained that I got in his face, uh, basically, he did not even complain. He placed hands on me, which is not okay stuff. Um, I was really thinking about... You know, what is it next I should do? Because he came really, really close. And I'm just glad I avoided him. That's all there is to it for this video. Uh, I don't think I have missed anything about this. Uh, yeah, you're going to get audio about my visiting a police station. There is really nothing to it. I'm not going to bother to translate that stuff. It'll make no fucking sense. Uh, notable, just I'm going to write... On the video is that he did not know individual who was involved since 1998 did not know anything about what MK Ultra is. Uh, again, one of the investigators, a colleague of this investigators, about whom I have spoken about this. To cut the story short, um, this individual was not involved in a crime agree, uh, against me to the degree that other investigators were involved in it. However, he also have not done an absolutely anything to stop this, to assist me with, uh, and or today to communicate with me like you would communicate with somebody that would come to you to file the complaint. I find this not suitable. That's why I requested for assistance with another 
police investigator. But no, he was not that bad. He did a lot of bad stuff. Uh, but nowhere near to the degree that police investigators that I mentioned did. Not to this degree, did not. Uh, just as I earlier mentioned, if you wanted to work at the police, uh, there is no fucking way you could avoid uh, doing something to me that would line you up clearly in a torture. Because it was a police director that did not condition only the promotions, but literally your stay at work, uh, you had to comply literally with the police director, with his requests. And those closely match demands of the man that you see right there, actually, and of his apprentices, such as Borat Papa and Mrs. Tanya Fayon. There's a whole palette of these people behind this. They were really happy. They were really looking forward to this issue as well, uh, including Mr. Robert Golo a present prime minister of Slovenia, who had especially good, I understand, uh, relations with the British royals. With that said, I don't have anything else I would add to this video. Uh, I think the rest of it, if I did miss anything, the conflict itself, uh, the best described is on the Slovenian side, um and yeah what i already have done but i did not publish also here on what already is created right here you're going to read this stuff and you're going to pretty much understand how the conflict developed because it's very very closely described yeah this however is very very closely related to the neighbor like i have stated dusan harlander uh, like I said, it just somehow is not happening for these guys. They did not manage to intimidate, and they have fallen now really, really short of the goals with the literally police complaint, which I will follow up. I will follow up on this complaint. I will get this done. You don't do this. Uh, it was not a theft, but it definitely was attempted theft. That's one of the things. And you do not stuff that you should actually announce yourself, ask about. You don't, you don't fucking act like this. Uh, you're not at home here. You don't do it like this. Uh, you have to have some respect if you go into someone's house. Uh, you definitely shouldn't ask after doing some to somebody something like this who the fuck you think he is and stuff like that. You shouldn't do that. Or and even place his, your hands on one his arms. Uh, uh, to keep him on a distance and then claim that uh, he hit you and stuff like this. You shouldn't fucking do that stuff like this. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time.